There was a moment about 18 months ago where it looked like the tool would be coming back and I re-watched the old footage of the original production and I was terrified because I looked at it and I said, I don't know if I can do that. I'm not as good an actor as he is. No excuses. Keep him here to fight you, dozy prick. And then, through all the work, there was a moment when the coast between Bormarnock and Malahide, maybe four or five months into the training camp, and I was listening to the radio play version of the show. And I just went, oh, I'm a much better actor than he is now. I can't wait to get this back in front of people. Well, at the beginning, we didn't know what we had on our hands. We knew we'd put the work in, we knew we'd tried our best, but we didn't know until we got it in front of an audience. And then it just took off like a rocket. It was a way of marking 10 years of Royce Productions. Five Nights was the first show we ever made. The only problem was I had to go and do it again. It's, it's a hell of a lot different doing this show at 40 than it is at 30. And uh, I had to cut six stone to get back ready for this show, um, which is not nothing, which is not nothing. Over the last nine months, I've changed everything. I've put the work in. It's been hard, it's been arduous, but it's been worth it. I'm in the shape of my life. The show is ready to rock. There's only one thing left for me to do now, perform. <laughs>